Hey everyone, Keith here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of the PayPal, simple PayPal shopping cart plugin. And in particular, I'm going to be um, showing you how to use the product box um, to make an attractive looking display for the product. Now, in general, when you when you're using this plugin, you just need a simple a simple short code to um, to provide an add to cart button and you just have to specify at a minimum the name and the price and that will generate an add to cart button for you and with that on your product page you can actually upload an image and create a description just like you would write any normal post you can add all that information in there I'll show you how to do that here I already have an image uploaded um, so I'm going to add that in there, click on insert into page, and then I can also put a description. Um, and then this button will generate the, the add to, um, I mean this short code will generate the add to cart button of course. So that that way we have full control over the way the description is and the the image and however we want that to lay to be laid out. Okay, so then the add to cart button, of course, will add this product to the to the cart. But if we wanted to um, use the product display box uh, to make it more to make it attractive, we can use um, a particular short code and provide all the parameters. So I'll show you how that works here. Let's close that, and I have it on the clip on the, the notepad here. I'll copy that over, and I'll go through each part. Basically, um, the the uh, this short code that we used here, WP underscore cart underscore button, which this just like it sounds, it creates the add to cart button for us. Um, and it takes a, um, several different parameters, but at a minimum we need name and price, but we can also add in um, value, a value for shipping and a value for, for the different variations. If it's a, like a t-shirt, for example, we can put in um, a color, size, whatever we want it. And if it's a digital product, we can also um, provide the URL for the digital product so that when um, the customer gets an email after the purchase they can download the product from their email well this this short code WP underscore cart underscore display underscore product um, takes the same parameters as the other plug as the other short code and the only difference being you can pass in a thumbnail and a description and when you add those uh, it, it's going to generate um, an attractive looking product display box for us. Okay, so this one here, um, just like the other one, has a name and a price. And then we're, gonna, we're adding in the thumbnail that we uploaded, the description, and the shipping cost. And in this case, I have um, a size variation and a color variation with different values. And to get the value, and to get the value to put in here for thumbnail, all we have to do is if we click on media, if the if the uh, thumbnail isn't uploaded yet, we can go to add new, select files, and choose the file that we want to upload. Click on edit, and then we can see the file URL here. So we just have to double click that, copy it to the clipboard, and that's the uh, the URL we're going to use as the thumbnail here. Now if it's already uploaded we just can go to library look for the file we want click on edit and the same thing we just grab this value here copy to the clipboard paste it in and then we click save draft or or update if the if it's already published and then we'll refresh this page here. You'll see now that there's it's in within a nice uh, display box 
here with all the with all the values that we set for the name, description, price, and then the different variations. And then the price and the name of the product is also coded into the button. Okay. That's it. That's all there is to uh, creating display boxes. Just uh, as simple as changing the short code and adding in a thumbnail and a description value. Okay, thanks for watching.